Hey everyone, John Rota back again on E-Town Eats. Today we're checking out a full menu tasting at the Vintage Fork located inside the old Rutherford house at 11153 Saskatchewan Drive. Let's go inside and see what they got. E-Town Eats is all about showing you the coolest restaurants in and around Edmonton. I'm John Rota with the Move Real Estate Team and this is E-Town Eats. Okay everyone, we're inside the Vintage Fork now with Assistant Manager Daniel. Daniel, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, Vintage Fork, Rutherford House, and what we're doing today? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a small restaurant located in the historical Rutherford House, which is a museum on the university campus. It belonged to the first Premier of Alberta and the founder of the university, so it's like an interesting, unique mm -hmm. setting for a dining experience in Edmonton. Uh, right now we're located in the Sun Porch, which is uh, one of the rooms that we have that is typically preferred because of the more sunlight in here. Uh, this is where Mrs. Rutherford would entertain guests and have her coffee and tea. Uh, the other room that we're going to be checking out today is called the Breakfast Nook. It's a little bit smaller, more intimate, a little bit less ambient light, but it tends to be a great place to have a quiet cup of coffee or tea with someone. Okay, cool. And what are we doing here today? Which, what are we tasting? Uh, so we're going to try out uh, one of our white chocolate almond coconut scones, which we baked fresh this morning because baking is definitely one of our strong suits here. Uh, we're going to be letting you sample some of our coffee because we do excellent espresso, latte, cappuccino, uh, chocolate mocha here as well. Um, and then later on, we're going to be trying out one of our three course lunches today because uh, generally we do things a little bit different here, here than most restaurants. Our chef Salar creates a set menu that changes almost every day. So today we have a three course meal that includes our signature vintage fork greens, a house specialty chicken pot pie, and then dessert all for 1999, which happens every Tuesday. Wow, very interesting. Let's go inside and check it out. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're here with the first of three courses. These are our signature vintage four greens. It is a raspberry vinaigrette salad served with goat cheese, honey candied almonds, a in-house made avocado maple sorbet that's made with liquid nitrogen, and slices of orange. So why don't you give it a taste and let us know what you think. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take a bite of this candy almond first. Good choice. That's perfectly candy almond, and it's like nice and fresh too. Mm -hmm. It feels like they just made it today, probably, right? Yeah, absolutely. Where everything's made to order. It's just chilled, mm -hmm. the sorbet. And you got the avocado taste, complimenting goat cheese really well on top of the salad. Mm -hmm. And you can taste the raspberry vinaigrette with it all too. All right, well, we're back with our main course from our three course meal served every Tuesday here at the Vintage Fork in the Rutherford House. This is our house specialty chicken pot pie, which is our take on one of the Rutherford family's original recipes. It's essentially a chicken pot pie that just has covered with puff pastry. Uh, it's filled with chicken, a variety of vegetables, and an Asiago cream sauce today. Just be careful, the bowl itself is quite hot since it just came out of the oven. Okay, why don't you just uh, break through the top there and let me know what you think. It looks very visually appealing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's give this a try. Get trying to get a little bit of everything here. Get the pastry. There you go, first bite, main course. That also have a cream sauce, it's killer. Mm -hmm. You can taste that right away. And the pastry is so light. Like the pastry even kind of just melted away too. Yeah, definitely. It's like perfectly mm -hmm. flaky. It's great to have just like a little bite with every spoonful. Yeah, I mean, the chicken is very tasty too. You can just taste the individual flavor on the chicken yeah. and the pot pie on top of it. Yeah, that's very good. All right, we're back and ready for our third course. Every day we usually have a selection of about six or different freshly baked pastries that include two different types of tarts. We have brownies, a carrot loaf, usually a freshly baked scone, which he tried earlier, uh, as well as a chocolate mousse cake and a hazelnut cream filled flaky pastry called the millefeuille pastry. Today, because uh, he's a little bit full from the other courses and the scone that he ate earlier, I brought him a fruit tart, which has regular pastry custard. And today it has a raspberry, a blackberry and a gooseberry. So I'll set that right there and you're welcome to give it a shot. Let us know what you think. Sure. It was very tasty. That's a full day here, full meal, serving at Vintage Fork. Everyone, I encourage you to come check it out, especially if you're around the university campus. This is well worth a stop. Mm -hmm. Thanks Next for coming time. in today.